Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode, it didn't go so well again. Uh, that seems to be quite a theme of the series thus far. As you can see, this one uh, nation faction, whichever you like to call it, has taken the majority of the map. I have three bits on the right-hand side and that is it. They have huge resources, huge um, v uh, vessels actually. Uh, we, oh, I can't actually show you. This is um, this is where they were originally. I'm going to actually recall the spine because I need the money. Uh, but they have uh, a couple of uh, really big walkers there, which is not too bad because it means they can't assault down here. So they have a flyer there and they've lost their others when they've been waving into it. So that's good. Um, so the problem is we've, we have lost on the left-hand side. Um, if we view all these cities though, um, most of them are probably okay for getting assaulted with some fast ships? I don't know. I don't know where to go with this one. I really don't. It's it's going to be an uphill struggle regardless. Uh, last episode also designed a bigger boat, a much bigger boat. Uh, we didn't... Oh my good grief, we're getting attacked from the right hand side again. Although it shouldn't be too much of a problem because we are repairing this thing. Uh, yes, it was a case of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, they turned around as soon as the repairs are complete. Yeah, we managed to make a really, really big bomber. Uh, we haven't actually used it in anger because when, when we're trying to make it, we're trying to make it here, it, um, well... It didn't work because uh, I got halfway and then it stopped. So what I'm going to have to do is build it in uh, this area on here. I do I do definitely want to try it, although for whatever reason I can't. Why can't I build it there? Why can't I build it? The Lank, we cannot build. The telescope not available. That's why. Okay, so we're going to have to... Uh, okay. Design a ship. Open the ship. Open the Lank and remove the telescope because... Uh, yeah, we, we we lost a bit of it. That's a problem. Okay, so just need more to pick. Uh, where's the remove tool? Actually, I'll just use that. And boom! There we go. Uh, so we'll build ship. There we go. I'm not uh, redesigning it because I'm hoping to take that thing over sooner rather than later. So we'll build this and then we'll start doing some high level bombing. Even if we just um, smash some of these guys' uh, main defences and then try and assault with something else. We'll see how it goes. It would be nice to have a carrier uh, to support this. Obviously, the problem with this vessel in particular, the bomber, is that we uh, we can't... We can't really take out any fighters because we've only got one weapon type. But if we build the bot flies... Build the bot flies. It might work out, actually. It might work out. They're moving ships all over the place, as you can see, uh, from different points. Let's keep building the ship there. Uh, and the bot flies are very cheap, which is always useful. And I don't know why they're stacking up over there, but I'm going to stack everything up in the main home area. So that should be four bot flies and the lank, which is getting built. So the question is, where do I want to assault? They're over on the left, and perhaps going for the... I still think taking the irons is good, because that means they can't use their really big walkers. That's going to be an advantage. Looks like they're moving towards tape jar, and they're going to get there first because the lank is so blooming slow. And they have... Oh, they have a big carrier. Look at that. That's a new one. So there's the wolf. We've seen that design before. We also have a carrier, and... Very, very delicate, that one, because it's just struts with uh, lots of suspendium tanks. However, because we only have... Oh, no, we actually have uh, carriers as well. Uh, not carriers, we have airfields. Um, it could be a fairly close one, this. Or they could absolutely uh, smash us, we really don't know. We do have uh, flak, which is always useful. However, they're going ahead and strafing my, my airfield there. So they're going to strafe left and right. Uh, they don't have any real way of taking out my... As far as I can tell, they don't really have any real way of taking out my planes. Oh, they do. They have the one flat gun on the top there. Looks like the planes are falling out the sky. The good thing is if if this uh, loses all of its planes, then it's pretty much a, a dead vessel. The same, however, can be said for my airfield at the back there as well. So we have to be careful. I also don't like the fact that they're hovering right above us because, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. If we take something vital out, it's going to land right on the bottom. So... I'm going to speed this up because, quite frankly, there's no commands I can give. I mean, I could get issue commands to fire more, but, I mean, these are not under command at all. Uh, this one is running out of ammo. They've all got no command. It looks like they're just going to have to keep firing and firing and firing and firing. Um, that's going there. That one is burning. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's gone. Hmm. Sadly, they've just got more firepower on that one. Might have lost this one again. Although, I can probably take it over. 
What I'm hoping is if we take out their suspendium chamber, it'll be classed as a dead ship. So it won't, uh, won't be able to do anything. I've still got the two planes going back and forward, strafing them. Can't issue any commands to them. There's nothing I can do about it other than just watch it happen. Although, they're still doing really good. And we can still land and uh, rearm, I believe. That carrier's gone, but it does still have a, a rifle on the back there, which can take out my my airplanes. In fact, one of them... Oh, no, I thought one of them had uh, just fallen out, but it hasn't. Look at the stream of uh, suspendium dust that's just uh, leaking out of the tanks there. I do like that design, though. That's a very, very uh, resource-efficient design. Looks like I've won that because, well, that ship just fell out of the sky. Although, I wouldn't really class it as uh, your typical... Your typical win, because we've got defences, uh, I probably lost most of these things. We're going to have to repair all these, although it is quite cheap to repair. I'm also going to build building and build a black citadel because, well, they're actually quite cheap, and I think it would be uh, useful for us to have that. So, when we're going to attack, well, I think we're going to invade down there. Um, obviously, they're going to move some of their things over, and what I might do, quite frankly, um, because this is so slow, I might send a spy there. I'll see what sort of vessels they have when they dock. So we'll view the city. They have a high-level bomber. Actually, no, it's not. It's got loads of uh, loads of rifles on it. But it is quite high level. So the question is, do I want to change my plan? Looks like they've... Let's try to sabotage construction there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force them over that way and then, quite frankly, just say... Actually, I'm going to change my mind and do that one. That is, <laughs> admittedly, a cheeky thing to do because the AI just can't handle it. But it's, uh, it's what we're going to do. Wow, look at that. We can deploy in there, and that's as high as that's gone. That's not high level at all. That's, in fact, terrible in every way. I didn't realize that uh, it was that low in service ceiling. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to move and see what I can do. Um, I don't have much option other than just to try and go through there. There's a victory straight away. We'll go for a, a, a brutal takeover there. Um, we're going to have to edit that design. It's far too slow. It's far too slow. It's so heavy. Um, okay. So, what we'll do. Doing a brutal takeover there. Once it's done, we will go to... Design ship. We'll open the design of the Lank, and we're going to have a V2. And, quite frankly, the V2 is just going to be wooden armour. We'll fill that, which brings it 212 metres service ceiling. Also, we'll probably speed it up. Uh, where is it? Speed. Speed is 10 metres. With the steel armour, it was... Eight. Okay. Nah. It's still not very fast, is it? Couple of sail. Two sails either side. Like that. 14. It also cheapens it up a hell of a lot. I didn't realise just how cheap that makes it. Um, obviously, we do have to remove that uh, thing there as well. Yeah. Okay. Can we actually put sails on this bit? Uh, yes, but it won't work because you do need to actually staff them. Okay. We're going to save that design then. Obviously, we're going to save that as V2 because, well, it is. Save that. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to click on that. I'm going to uh, refit it. Open the design of the V2. And refit it. It'll take a little bit of time to refit, but there you go. It's now done. And... We will now go down the bottom. Okay, it's not entirely... It's not really the speed I wanted to see it at. I think we're going to have to fight these regardless, aren't we? Um, so this is going to be a bit of a tougher fight now. We obviously have several vessels there. Or several defences. So I'm just going to have to move this as fast as possible to there. Uh, the bot flies... Same sort of deal. We'll just move them closer in formation. So we'll just knock the speed up while we go forward. As you can see, suspendium tanks falling. Ah, oh, they've all been taken out. And then we landed on the suspendium bit. And then they've just crashed through the central mass. And we're just going to flee because, quite frankly, we, uh, we, we, we're going we're gonna <laughs> to lose that. Right, that didn't go well at all. That vessel is not working out, is it? It's because the uh, when the top blew up, it split and then dropped on top of each other. Urgh, okay, okay, okay. We will... I'm not going to scrap it. I'm going to repair it. And then we're probably going to rip it off and have a version 3. But even then, it's probably not going to be that high level. 
See, the original design for the high level one was very, very decent. Very good indeed. Um, design ship. Open the design. Lank V2. Ooh, hang on. Open design. My mistake. Right, so. Get rid of all this. Just get rid of the lot. Uh, maybe keep one of them, actually. It's because of the other ones were crashing down on the other bits. That that was the problem. Um, that's still high service seating. It should do. I could actually put them on the left-hand side. Like, um, go one, two, three, one, two, three. Like that, if I really wanted to. And that would probably do it. <sighs> I mean, it looks terrible, but... Well, the other one didn't exactly look amazing, did it? We'll save it as the version three. And... Leave that. Obviously, we do want to retrofit that one. Do a bit of a refit. Then we'll invade there again. Uh, defences for this one. Before we forget, we're going to do that, that, and build building. Black Citadel. We haven't yet designed a building in this series. Not that we really have any need for doing so. Well, actually, we sort of do. Anyway, um, same thing again. Uh, this time we've got a tank. And we've got... Uh, probably move these a little bit further up, actually. Because I don't want it to ram, in front, ram me in. It could do that. We've got a tank with two flak. And obviously, we've still got the stuff on the right-hand side there. So this one, immediately pause it there. We want to move as fast as we can, which admittedly is not very, to the uh, far right there. So let's just see how this one goes. So speed up, and immediately it loses all of the suspendium dust tanks. And then it falls to there. So that's not great at all. That's not even high enough level to do anything. So I'm going to have to just go over the top. Yeah, okay, it's garbage. It's garbage! Right, it's fine. <laughs> Play again. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yep. Yeah. Am I just using it wrong? Or is it genuinely just garbage? It gets hits once and then blows up. The suspendium tanks are not working. Um, the ones... If we go to build ship, the ones that... Well, well the one that worked is the Zeppington. As you can see, it's just... It's very, very basic. It's very basic. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I've just tried to make... And also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got eight bombers. Whereas this thing... The lank, oh, it's actually dead. But that thing only had, uh, only had, only had um, a couple. No, it had twelve. So it's eight versus twelve. Huh. Yeah. So it's it's terrible and overpointed and not very good. Okay, fine. We now know these things. So I'm gonna build some another bot fly there. We built a reacting re reacting ton. No, it's not called that anymore. It's the uh, the assault vessel. So we'll probably see if we can take over one of these. <laughs> We're gonna get to one of them eventually. Oh my good grief! If there's loads of them, I'm just gonna flee that one quite frankly because we can't do anything about it. You know what? I might do. No. Gonna flee that one as well. I'm gonna move over to there. There's an aerial jelly there. I've never seen those. They're big jellyfish, and they've been—it's been their things being straw. My good grief! Yep, I can't take that out either. Oh, flee, flee, flee! Let me press start. Invade a Hatwick. Let's see what that's like. That is two of them. All I'm trying to do is find something that I think we can manage to take out relatively easy. Ah, oh, there's one that we can take out. Okay, start the fight. Move that to there. We should be able to do this one. Move down to there. We should be able to take this one over. So we're boarding that. Uh, we need to go a bit further down so the spiders can get there. There we are. So that should be a win. Looks like we are successfully doing that one. I think I mentioned it before, but the spiders cannot crew something. They can crew something, however, the uh, they can take stuff out, and then the other marines that we send on board can do that. Gentle takeover. And we'll just invade there. And they've just sent a carrier, and they have some more defences. So we'll flee. All I'm doing now is just try to scarp around the place and see what I can do, but they're... Yeah, look at that. There's just so much stuff. They've got two of them huge defences for each one, and... Uh, 
quite frankly, I don't think I can do much about it. I know I'm sounding a bit defeatist, but that's because uh, <laughs> it's uh, knocked the wind out of me somewhat. Alright. Well, I'm trying to take this... It's called the Great, uh, the great Fastness. It's got three bi triplanes and uh, some cannons on the front, although it is taking a hell of a beating. Oh, and there's my dorsal cannon gone, sadly. Hmm, how are we doing for ammo? Not too bad. We'll put it on aim, though, because it's only got two guns left. So our rifles are hitting it. Um, it's trying to... I don't know what it's trying to do, actually. As you can see, it's it can't go up and over. I don't think it has the service. I don't think it has the service ceiling to go over the top. It can't jump over that one. It doesn't want to go down because the guns will get it. But also, its guns are not firing. I think there's a bit of a iffy AI thing going on there because when well, it's still got one, it's got a rifle in arc. That's all it's doing. It's got one rifle versus my two rifles. I've got more armor, so I should win it. But is that going to work out like that way? I don't know. I really don't know. What might be happening is the... Ooh! That was the... Uh, that was the suspendium chamber. What might be happening is it's trying to stay there thinking that the aircraft are going to take care of business. Oh! Oh! We've had an explosion there and the ammo's uh, got low because, you know, the ammo thing blew up. We do have three cannons, though. Working this one out. While working this one over. Uh, there we are. Yeah, that's uh, working out pretty well. Yeah, that's it. That's a gun. That, that, that's, that's gone. So, managed to keep hold of that one, but... Am I going to be able to take any more? Nah, not really. What we'd have to do is... What we'd have to do is build up a huge force and go around and just really hit these hard. I think that's the only way of doing it. Making like a really big vessel or like a lot, just ones with just lots of guns. We just need more gun, more gun, more better. Um, Could we do it? Could we do it? It's possible. It's possible. But looking at what they've got, I mean, let's just have a quick look at some of the ones back there. We're going to send some spies into these different places. Right, so, view there. They've always got one of these big ones. I mean, look at that. How am I, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that one. And three. Yep. Yeah. They're just really, really powerful. I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Um, I'm going to have a think. Honestly, I don't know what to do here. I think one of the options... The, the bomber doesn't didn't work. Blank didn't work. Let's just put it out there. Um, it's just too... It's just too, It tries to do too much. It's it tried to be armoured and things like that. No, it should just made it as light as possible, go as high as possible and fast as possible to get over the target, drop loads of bombs. If it gets taken out, it gets taken out. That's what we should have done, but instead I put too much armour on it, removed that. Spendium chambers, they didn't work, and blah, blah, blah. You see the problem. Um, the only thing I can think of is to make a vehicle that is focused around the Imperial Cannon, which is a huge-ass gun, um, and just have, not multiple ones, just one of those, ammo, suspendium chamber, sit it at the back, and then bombard, and just have as many as them as I can field. I think that's next episode's job, build one of those, see if it works, if it doesn't, well, we'll play it by ear, and uh, quite frankly, just smash stuff up. Even if we lose things, we need to start taking these out. I can't really assault them because they've got a lot of barracks in them. So, yeah, let's just see how it goes. Fairly decent amount of money, though. Uh, four grand uh, plus some change, plus getting 212 every turn. So, it's not too bad. It's just, uh, well, see what we can do <laughs> to this. <laughs> it's an uphill struggle, and I think eventually if the uh, AI gets itself together, I, they're just going to be at the swampers. I don't know why they haven't done... Actually, I do know why they haven't done that uh, recently. And that's because I've taken... Um, they, they can't assault, but they've, they've got a huge amount of uh, resources 
stashed into them leviathans. Like, just they're just having them there. Um, so I can just, you know, bank on that. Don't attack them. They're just using resources, keeping them there. And they can't use it to assault these areas because of the ground ones. Anyway, uh, knock it on the head for this episode. See what goes on the next one. And, um, yeah, let's hope there's a bit more progress. Managed to take over one area, but, you know, that's... <laughs> This at this rate, um, you know, the game will uh, be out of early access by the time we've actually won it <laughs> or lost it. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.